Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. I'm Lady Day, and this is The Healing Butterfly. I am your overall intuitive reader, and this is your WTF love and romance weekend reading. Please only take what resonates from any of my messages. They are all timeless, and reverse the roles as need be. All right, let's get into it. What is the current energy? Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn chopped wood working working at something wanting to work at something yeah there it is the unfinished symphony so a connection that you have with someone that never really went the distance i'm also hearing that there's um i don't know if you went to high school college or something together but there was there's something about like dedicating songs at some dance or dedicating songs to each other through a platform or something i don't know one more for current yeah, not for you. Okay, yeah. All right. I got to be honest. I, I, I'm getting the vibe that someone is already taken. And that's why you can't continue to work at this situation. I'm almost feeling like it's a, a very nostalgic connection. Let's move into what the blockages and blind spots. Blockages and blind spots. Yeah, by the book is in the reverse. Let me get two more cards for the blockages and blind spots. Why the book is in the reverse. Then we have message in a bottle. And to be fair. So again, I do think that you got a message that someone had moved on. Right? Or went about a situation in not the best way. They had an untraditional situation. Maybe somebody uh, got someone pregnant. And it left, yeah, it left you alone, right? It left you by yourself, right? But I think you are healing, rejuvenating. You know that there's been a change in the wind. I think there is a mending that you deep, deeply, you know, yeah, someone should have came towards you, but they put themselves back in the same, like a, a cycle. And it could be a generational cycle. Like, oh, all of their, all of the men or all of the women in their family or whoever, all of the such and such in their family do the same thing. They get pregnant or they got someone pregnant and that's that's just that's the end of it. They have to get married. It's like gunshot wedding. You have to stay together. And I got to be honest, I feel like you found this out. You may have found this out online or through friends or somebody was like, you know what? This ain't right. I got to tell so and so. It might have been that or you might have actually seen it. Like I'm seeing like this, like the message, like it's like somebody was like, you know what? Either this wasn't fair the way I found out, the way I got the message. Or somebody was like, it's not fair that you're not saying nothing to her about what you're getting ready to do. I'm telling her or I'm telling him. Something like that. Um, and then the advice. Mending. Ooh. Okay. I have mending. I have change in the wind in the reverse. Hmm. And then I got flexible, but as you can see how flexible it's, it's not fully in the reverse, but it's not fully in the upright either. Let me get one more here for the advice spirit. Wow, what? What is going on here? Yeah, there it is. Okay. Yeah, someone's trying to keep you in a fork in the road. Earth sign. Because I have, whenever I get the fork in the road with the here and now, that means somebody is either all in their head about the past, all in their head about the future, and all in their head about the present. They don't know where they should go and what they should do, right? So take this as it resonates. I do think there's a mending energy here, right? But with the change in the win in the, in the reverse, along with the buy the book in the reverse, wherever this person moved to, right? Because the change in the wind is in the reverse, but the by the book is in the reverse. So wherever this person thought that their journey was sending them to, it changed the wind from the right way, which would have been towards you, right? And went the wrong way to the wrong book. So the person tried to mend an old situation, right? When they should have been mending something with you. They should have been flexible in the here and now. And so now they're in a situation where it's a... All that glitters isn't gold. The decisions that I made to go to this other situation, I changed from where I knew was right and went wrong. And it ended up in an all that glitters isn't gold situation. I wasn't fully flexible. Someone had a hard time making a decision, right? And there goes the round and round energy. What did I say? Someone kept themselves in a cycle. 
a leg up, orphaned, go to distance. Yeah, they were told, they definitely were told, or at least had an inkling from spirits from the divine that this was a divine connection, but they didn't, they didn't go to distance with you. They went the wrong way. They were flexible in the wrong direction with the wrong person. Okay, let's get some clarity on this. The Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. What is the current energy? Six of Wands. So still victory and success for you. Maybe, I also feel I figured it out. So maybe you've been feeling like something or someone was in your energy. Maybe I just gave you some inkling or in information to who this person is or maybe somebody again. Someone, like I said, someone said it's not fair that you didn't know or that someone didn't know that someone decided to take another path. Or you found out online. So maybe you're standing in your own victory like, yeah, I knew and I'm still victorious. I'm still strong. Yeah, seven of pentacles for current energy. Maybe because you put your pet, you put your time and energy, you invested in yourself. Ace of Wands and the Emperor. Maybe you are taking charge, taking charge of your own life, finding the spark and the, the new found passion within yourself. So I could be talking to some masculines and not some feminines. Yeah, the three of, uh, so someone tried to have the, yeah, there it is, the star card. Prayers high. And eight of cups walking away. Right. Because you knew something was not for you. Somebody was being very, very flighty with you. Casanova energy. Love bombing energy. So take it either. You could be the emperor. Masculine energy is the, what I'm actually pulling from the emperor. You're taking lead of your own life. You're deciding, you know what? Yeah, somebody did what they did. But I'm still going to stand and be true to myself. And what I'm building for me and my loved one's future. And you walked away. You kept your promise to yourself. You healed yourself. You kept your wishes and your prayers high. And you're going towards better days. All right. What's going on with the blockages and blind spots? <laughs> Fell right where it needed to fall. Someone's having a tower moment. And I'm hearing tower moment in two ways. And when I hear tower moment in two ways, that means one person had their tower moment break down the false foundation. While the other person had... Like an epiphany and a, and, a, and a free breaking. It's like you already kind of knew. You were just waiting for the, the tower to hit so that you could just release yourself and have the... Like maybe you've... Again, I keep feeling like somebody's like, I feel energy around me, but I don't know who it is. So maybe this is like confirming who it is. Um, and or now you know the spirit is saying, no, you're, you're good to go. You can release. It's time to evolve. The hanged man. So... Definitely someone decided to stay stagnant on this situation, probably for too long. They may also, yeah, goes the devil. The devil tried to keep this situation stagnant, keep you stagnant. But you are the queen of cups. You're intuitive. You're tapped in. You're connected to your higher self. They couldn't get it. They couldn't get, yeah, this, this, they could, I said they couldn't. This person couldn't get one over on you. This knight of cups, love bombing, trying to be Casanova, prince on the back of the white horse. Somebody should have balanced this and made and been patient with this situation. But they weren't. And they left. They probably feel more left out in the cold because you, yeah, Ten of Wands, you're releasing this burden and you're moving on. They stay, yeah, you're moving on. You don't have time for this anymore. I wouldn't have time for this anymore either because they're going in between the Knight of Cups energy and the Devil energy, pulling at your heart strings, pulling at your emotional strings. Um, your emotional strings, right? Ooh, child. Pulling at your heartstrings, pulling at your passion and your love for them and the, the memories of, I'm hearing nostalgia. Like I said, I keep hearing these old school music, so I don't know if they send you old school music y'all used to listen to and still trying to play this game. The tower moment's going to hit because your intuition is high. And let's go to the advice. What did I say? Moving on. Six of swords. Moving on to calmer times. Away from this person. Right. Didn't I say you were connected to your higher self? She or he who knows but doesn't always reveal. You kept your cards very close to yourself, King of Pentacles, because you you doing it. You doing it, honey. Male or female, King of Pink King of Pentacles is someone who's very sturdy, very loving, um, good with money, the the family man or family woman. Um, being able to provide for yourself and your family. And then the justice is is in your favor, not in the reverse. To be fair. You might have a Libra around you or you might be, I mean, I know I'm on the uh, earth sign reading, um, but there might be a Libra in the mix of the situation because justice is all over this. 
Justice shall, shall be served. And you are the Nine of Pentacles. So money good. What? Come on, Ten of Pentacles. Come on. And somebody else. Okay, so you're Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, and somebody was trying to come at you with the Page of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands. And now they all in their head, Five of Swords, because you were the Two of Cups all alone. You were the high priest. You were their other half. They're, they're just, they're brokenhearted. They're looking at you being fine as wine and all about your dime. And they are just like, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. I can't, I'm here and I can't believe I didn't grow up. Or I can't believe I, I didn't see this or something like that. I didn't, I don't know. Also take this as a, uh, the emperor, right? may have invested in someone and, and walked away from you and spirit is saying that it's not for you to work on this situation anymore at the same time because i'm getting something about someone really like infatuated with this emperor and putting their claws in this in this emperor and they walked away from you because this person like fed them whatever that means like you know how someone can feed someone's ego I just got that storyline. If it fits, it fits. If not, leave it there. Um, what's current? Three cards, spirit. Current energy. All right. What did I say? Someone was in a car. All right. Someone like had their claws in somebody. Karmic relationship. Mirror. So relationship reflecting our wounds. Right. They, they went towards someone that mirrored them. Camera. And now they're what? Learning. They need to learn from the past. And they're, rem and they're reminiscing about you. They went towards a karmic relationship because it mirrored exactly who they were. And they stabbed you in the back when they did it. Okay. Thank you, spirit. There's that. Okay. That's that other storyline. Okay. Um, and then what's the blockages, three cards? Well, that came out. <laughs> the chaser. So now, they're, like I said, if you feel like there's someone in your energy, someone's chasing down your energy because they want to talk to you. They're interested in talking, texting, email, hovering, hovering, all around your energy. That's this person. But you're right here with your girl talk. Single, time with friends, moving on, single and having fun. Because you're moving towards your paradise. Happiness, expansion, joy. Enjoying yourself, enjoying other people, enjoying love. Because someone never shows you their true feelings. So now they got to ski daddle. The tower is hit. It's over. It's done. That's It's a wrap. Let's move over to the advice. Okay. You can be upset at my, me all you want to. You made the bad decisions. Um, advice. And there goes that stabbed in the back again. And it's funny that the stabbed in the back moved to the blockages as well as the sunglasses. So we'll leave that there. But the sword and the rose, clarity, truth, protection, and power. That's what's coming. The justice. Two more cards for the advice. The runner. So your spirit told you to move on though. Spirit told you to move on and, and not just move on, but move on suddenly. Lightning, the sudden changes, upheaval, transformation. And at the bottom, I think I just seen the twin flame card. Yeah, this could be a twin flame, but twin flame is all wrapped up with some type of snake. So this situation is asking for you to move on. Someone does like you. Um, they might not have told you because you're in the there's a coffin energy here as well, which is the endings that bring new beginnings. It's time to let go of this situation. This person made their decision. Karma. And karma's coming when? Karma's coming right now for this person. And dharma is coming for you. I told you those Libra scales was out here. You might, this might be an earth, earth sign. You might have been, this might be a, 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 air, a, a Libra or an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. And I'm feeling very strong Libra vibes with all this justice out here. Can't play around with an earth angel who is a Libra. Chow by that's instant karma. Thank you, Spirit. And we're back. Stay in the present and don't get too far ahead of the flow. You'll soon trust that nothing more will come than what can be handled in each moment. We have divine love. When you offer everything to the divine with detachment, you begin a love affair with spirit. So somebody maybe tried to control this situation, tried not to get too deep in love, tried to... Yeah, I feel like somebody's like, oh, I'm just going to dip my toes in and I'm just going to dip my foot in. Like you're trying to trying to make this person like dive deep into their emotions while you're just giving little bits and pieces and breadcrumbing. Have extraordinary. 
There's a wild and impetuous uniqueness to you that deserves to be honored. So whatever it is, because you went back to the old humdrum, used to dating this type of person, whatever that type of person is, when spirit was asking you to walk into your true self, new self, your ascended self, the person that's connected to your higher self. But you went back to status quo, I guess. So I hope that this was able to give you some insight and intuition into your love life for this weekend. Thank you all for stopping by. I truly, truly appreciate you. Um, sending you all so much peace, prosperity, protection, and paradise vibes. Don't forget to uh, follow me on TikTok and Instagram. If you're looking for a personal reading, you can email me or reach out to me on one of those social media platforms. I truly appreciate y'all. And until next time, namaste.